Okay, I'm going to begin the meeting. This is a meeting of the Harbor Management Commission Mooring Committee, Wednesday, September 23rd at 10 a.m. The public has been placed into a listen-only mm -hmm. mode. There will be no public comments during the meeting according to Town of Fairfield regulations. If anyone has any comments uh, to provide about today's meeting, they may do so by emailing me at sapora at me.com. That's Tango Zulu India Papa Oscar Romeo Alpha Hotel at me, M-E, Mike Echo com. Okay. Um, the first item on the agenda is the Harbor Master's Report, but before that, let me note that uh, the Pequot Yacht Club Commodore and uh, Chair of the Harbor Committee of Pequot Yacht Club sent an email, by email, sent a letter to me copying also the Chair of the Commission uh, related to updates to the mooring rules and procedures, uh, but that is not a mooring committee function. That was done by a subcommittee of the plan, Harbor Management Plan Update Committee, and there is a plan to have a, a special meeting of the Harbor Management Commission on October 6th, Kim, I believe? October um, 6th, yeah. That is dedicated to review of the, all of the updates to the mooring rules and procedures, and Sequat Yacht Club's input will be addressed as part of the input into that meeting, if that's correct. Right, Kim? Yep. Okay. Um, so go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I, the, I didn't get the letter till 10:30 last night. 10:30 last night, which is well beyond a time when I would be checking my email. So, oh, oh, I only know that it came in, and uh, I haven't had a chance to take a look at it. Um, so, I, 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 I um, you know, I'm not sure that even if, even if I'd had a chance to look at it, this would be the right place to do it. But certainly, under the circumstances, um, I. You know, I mean, we can note it for the minute, put it in the minutes yep. of yep. this meeting, and um, uh, I guess we can, if if uh, if there are any comments by anybody on the committee, uh, we could take, you know, relative to that to that rule, we could certainly take it up under new business, just in sort of a general way. Uh, but um, I, I kind of don't know what else to do because we don't have a. Um, we don't have a plan for a, uh, a, a, a rules a rules committee uh, meeting before the special meeting. Right. Um, so I guess I'm. So, Kim, uh, this is Sam Cargill. Um, yep. Haven't read that letter um, either, but if, um, if uh, isn't it um, for October sixth for the entire right. for the whole committee? Um, it, we will review at that time. We can also review all public comments as well, yep. or is there? Yes. Yep. Yep. Because I think we talked about in our broader meeting, we talked about this, the, um, I'm air quotes, so the subcommittee um, that came to the mooring committee. Am I wrong about the process here? But, right, so, it's no, not the mooring it's, committee. It was the plan committee. Plan yeah. committee, pardon me. So we will have, um, and so October 6th is an opportunity to review all public comments um, additionally, on the rules and regulations itself, correct? Absolutely. For the okay. pu public comment and for uh, and for uh, commissioner comment. Um, Got it. And, and at this yeah, point, I was thinking we would just go through as the committee did, um, and just go section by section, starting at the mm -hmm. top and just discussing each one as necessary. Right. I think that that's, that's why that would be the uh, best way. Sure. Right. Um, but um, may, may I ask? I hope and, and this is a point of parliamentary procedure. But are we? Is there other additional comments that have come beyond this letter? Or it, I'm just curious because if that could be shared with the commission as well at, uh, before oh, the absolutely. meeting. Oh, that, that, the absolutely. They would be shared at the moment. At the moment, there has been there have been no other public comments, and I I check the the HMC email, you know, several times a week. So there's been no other public comment. Um, and there, there may well be as we get closer to the, uh, to the, to the 10-6 meeting. I mean, that, that hasn't been noticed by the town clerk yet. I plan to do that uh, today or tomorrow so that, uh, you know, to give, give folks who may not have 
read the rule, the read the uh, minutes from our last meeting, give them a chance to uh, to see that there's a special meeting and and the topic of that special meeting. So, I would say I'm also Betty highlighted the updated proposed mooring rules and procedures on the town website for the Harbor Management Commission. There's a news section at the top of that, and it's in caps at the top with a link that takes people right to the document. So Got that it. was put up last week. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry, Jack. Uh, no, that's I think very, very helpful because it seemed like there was some confusion that the mooring committee was involved in this update. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, Ed, you're the first thing on the agenda, Harper Masters report. Okay. Thank you, Jack. Good morning, all. Um, Good morning. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be, thank you, I'll, I'll be brief, I believe, today. Uh, there have been a, a few departures from the, from the, uh, the harbor uh, for, you know, winterization and or heading south. Um, as I mentioned last time, still have a few growing pains with the online uh, mooring system. Um, and in particular, uh, you know, docked vessels, um, and the, the mooring update. Uh, I did receive uh, an additional information bit from online mooring, which I shared with uh, Jeff at Pequot to hopefully further facilitate the entering of uh, information uh, into uh, online mooring. Um, there have been additions to our wait list over the past couple of weeks, uh, so I do need to update that and submit a, uh, a written copy to the town. Um, I have noticed a couple of vessels without proper registration uh, in the uh, Pequot Marina, which uh, Jeff, was, uh, Jeff Engborg was very helpful in providing those uh, uh, owner's information, contact information. So uh, and some of those have been rectified, and I'm still reaching out to the remaining uh, others. Um, I believe that's that's about it for me for updates uh, and uh, reserve uh, to comment on uh, further uh, articles going forward this morning. Great. Any questions for the harbor master? So there are some there's some boats in the harbor that are not appear not to be registered. Um or displaying current uh, DMV registration stickers. So, you know, to, the answer to that question is yes. Okay. And are those new boats, or are those boats that were uh, ha haven't been registered for the ho haven't haven't put on the the, pro the appropriate stickers for the entire season? Uh, it's pretty much for the entire season, as they are they are uh, docked vessels at this point. Oh, oh, it's not moored vessels, it's docked vessels that have not... Correct, correct. Uh, and how has the, the, your efforts to contact the docked vessels um, been? Do you have, a, have you had a good response, or...? Um, I'd say, it, well, it's been a little bit less than good. I'd say I'm, I'm at about 50%. So, okay. Uh, you know, there were a couple of people that were immediately responding the others have not responded as of yet okay we may need to think about written formal communications from the town as well yeah it's absolutely not okay yeah so ed with respect to these vessels not exhibiting um, especially not exhibiting any uh, registration stickers. Do we have any indication whether these vessels have ever been registered in the state of Connecticut and that the sales taxes were properly paid? Um, from one respondent, uh, the vessel, well, one vessel is brand new. Um, I was assured that uh, the, the proper fees have been paid, and he also indicated to me that the, the sticker was in a uh, I was I was going to say a non-traditional spot, but uh, you know those of us in the industry know that if you don't really want to apply the sticker to your hull, uh, you know especially if it's freshly painted um, and on a powerboat, 
sometimes it goes in the uh, in the cabin windows which uh, that person has sent me pictures and uh, been in verbal communication with them um, assuring that all taxes were paid and he's in full compliance which you know I'm fine with that good um, you know there's you know there is another boat that, that has been there all season uh, you know a couple of boats um, one without any um, registration displayed either on the top sides or uh, in the cabin window so um, still awaiting a response from that individual that's that's at the moorings or at, at docks in in the Pequot marina yeah. any other updates or questions for the harbor master well, I, I think it, ahead, it's Jim. disappointing. Disappointing that we, um, at the end of the season, we have uh, have boats that are not that appear not to be uh, complying with uh, not only with uh, with with the laws of the land, if you will. Yeah. Well, I just want to add. I mean, uh, this is Sam, uh, and Ed knows. I just got my registration for 21. Um, I had to go to the DMV, and they had a, I guess it was six months they gave people um, this year because of COVID. Um, and so I am one person looking at my 21 stickers that will go on the boat today. So apologies. Um, but I didn't get, I emailed, a, or excuse me, I sent a picture of my registration to you, Ed, last week, as you saw. So. That's correct. Yeah. Yep. And I thank you for that. Uh, you know, the others no, have not I, been as forthright, if you will. Hmm. But it's, it, you know, when you go and you write a check and you do all the paperwork and it, they say that they never received it, which is just not true. Um, that I had th three other registrations on cars, et cetera, and trailers uh, that had it. So um, DMV is not doing a very good job, and that's just uh, indicative of the state of Connecticut and the problems we've had. For a number of years now. Right, agreed. Any other matters for the Harbor Master's report? Okay, the next item on the agenda is uh, another status update, which we've been doing for month after month since the implementation of online mooring system about the input of mooring tackle inspection and maintenance record keeping by our vendor for those purposes. And we still do not have, to the best of my knowledge, any mooring tackle inspection and maintenance records in the online mooring system, which is designed for that purpose and integrates mooring tackle inspection and maintenance records with the mooring permit records so that if we ever encounter a problem like we just encountered, we would be able to, as the town that owns that tackle, be able to quickly, as a commission, take a look at the maintenance record keeping and tackle inspections for moorings that might have become dislodged from the seafloor. Uh, I would like to suggest that while putting past records into the system may be time consuming, that our vendor is obligated to do current mooring tackle inspections in each of the three zones on a periodic three-year cycle, and that at least with the upcoming inspections and maintenance records, that they begin to move over the record keeping into the online mooring system that the town has obtained for that purpose. And that should be less of an onerous request than the request to put past records in, for example. And uh, I think it's a reasonable thing for the town to be requesting, and I, I'd like to uh, either get quick agreement from PYC that they'll begin doing that or that perhaps the uh, commission chair or the mooring committee chair should send a letter to PYC informing them that the town is asking them to do that because we've now gone coming up on a year of this system and we still are not using a key piece of the system. Right. And, and it's not, I think, an unreasonable request for the town to be asking that the records be kept in the town system. I don't know if others have thoughts. If yeah, I feel no, a little I... frustrated or sound frustrated, it's because 
this issue has been on our weekly or monthly agenda month after month and nothing has happened so far. Yeah. I, Is it a lack of them putting it in? Yes, they have been given permission right at the, when we gave permissions to all the different users of the system, like the town finance department, Pequot Yacht Club was given special permission to input their maintenance records into just the maintenance record keeping system and inspections part of the system. So they have permission, they have access to the system. To the best of my knowledge, they have not begun to use it for any record keeping. And again, I'm mm -hmm. suggesting that we just ask them to do this on a go-forward basis and that they continue to use the Excel spreadsheets and paper record keeping for what they've done in the past and not have to do a conversion of that. I, I think it's a reasonable thing to ask on a go-forward basis that they use the town's purchase system. I would agree. Be admit that billing's here. Uh, uh, I'd be in favor of that. Uh, you know, and I, I know firsthand there have been glitches with online mooring. And since we did have a, a custom system designed by the online mooring uh, people, uh, you know, there have been, as, uh, as I stated earlier, growing pains with this. And I, I know it's been frustrating for all of us, uh, you know, Pequot included, uh, to be entering this. So I, I, going forward, uh, you know, I'd, I'd be happy because I think, uh, historically speaking, um, you know, our vendor, Pequod Yacht Club, will be replacing same with same. So, like, uh, like uh, you said, Jack, uh, as, as long as they hold on to their own records, which I'm sure they do, um, it, uh, I believe it'd be fine. There's a lot of advantages for this because it's just like it is with our keeping records of people's proof of insurance and, and registration documents. They can actually save files of pictures or, or document images if it's helpful for them in, in keeping records for the harbor master and for the town's to access. So it adds some capabilities. It's also all in one centralized place. And I want to remind everyone, the tackle is owned by the town of Fairfield, and we are responsible for ensuring that that's being carefully uh, maintained and inspected. And if we don't have access to our own records for that done by our vendor, then we're at a disadvantage. So it, this is not the first town to use the online mooring system. We're probably the... 30th town or, or harbor that's using the system. So it's not the first time that mooring records are being kept in this system. And, and Ed's right, we may have some hiccups as we start using this part of the system for the first time, but that's not the problem we're having. Right now the problem we're having is that no data is being entered. And if we encounter problems, I'm confident that Ed and I can work with the vendor and get any glitches resolved with respect to the right. use of the system. Right. I mean, online mooring has been very responsive when we have um, encountered problems, and I think right. we all we all expected that there would be problems. Um, right. So, but and the uh, president of the company told me some months ago that if they need to help us with some special training with our vendor, they're happy to do that. They have to probably by telephone given COVID, but I, I, they're they're very helpful and responsive. They're very helpful, and I I totally agree. As part of our oversight responsibility. Um, we need to have um, access to to records, and um, you know the online mooring system is uh, makes it easy for everybody to have that access. So uh, yeah, it would be great if they would please, uh, you know, starting now. Enter right, the so I believe that members of the public representing PYC are probably listening to the call if they would like to email the chair or me and let us know that you're prepared to do that on a go-forward basis for record keeping, that's fine. If we don't hear, I think, Kim, you or I should send yes. a letter to the Commodore yes. making that request on behalf of the town. Yes. Yes, I agree, Jeff. Okay. Enough on that, I think. Unless anybody else has anything else to say on that. Um, I made a mistake on the third item on the agenda. Uh, this is related to asking the harbor master to be prepared to send emails to everybody in the database for online mooring, which would get all the docked vessel people who have submitted their applications, all the waitlist people, and all the people who have been issued mooring permits. Um, what I meant to write was with respect to the questionnaire that's being developed for everyone in the town, 
being invited to give input into the uh, um, harbor management plan update for priorities, that that questionnaire be uh, information about doing that questionnaire be emailed by the harbor master, and then also that there's going to be hearing at some point in the future relative to the uh, mooring rules update, and again for the public hearing we'd want to ask the harbor master i think to use the online mooring system to reach as many people as that system can get to uh to inform folks about that public hearing um so i i wrote this about the upcoming special meeting but that's not really the reason we need to send emails i think uh, well, I, that would be great if we could, if the harbor master would um, send an email to to um, to all the folks in the database about the proposed changes to the rules, as well as um, the the uh, the plan update questionnaire. Ed, is that something that you'd be able to do? So, in the case of the questionnaire, my understanding, and Jeff, correct me if you're wrong, but you're thinking of doing a um, a web-based survey like SurveyMonkey, and yes. there, would be a, a, there would be a web address that would be referenced in the email that Ed would send yes. out. Yeah. Sure. So, and that could yes, reach all the that. people who are in the database, right, Ed? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. That, would that, would, that, that would reach everyone in the harbor. Who's got and a person on the waiting list, or who's got a docked yeah. vessel and has completed the docked vessel report, of which we have. And to would it reach people who have uh, docks, littoral? Only if they have docked um, vessels and have submitted them, right, Ed? That's correct. If they have a vessel that they have, that they have registered, uh, you know, in the system, then it would go to them. Yeah. Um, I mean, there are there are a number of people, as you know, who have docks, especially on the upper portion of the harbor. Right. Um, they, they, you know, most of them did get back to me. You know, like I have no vessel other than a kayak or a canoe, et cetera. Um, you know, essentially an unregistered vessel, right. or no need to be registered vessel. Right. Uh, so they would not they would not receive that. Okay. Right. They have to have completed an applicate quote unquote application. Application. The dock right. vessel report to be in right. the database. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. But it does, okay. to Harry's point, it gets a lot of people that are connected it gets to gets an awful lot of people, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Kim, so you're suggesting that with respect to the special meeting there should be an email? Well, I don't see why not. Um, I don't either. Uh, you, you know, since all of, those, all of those people are potentially impacted by uh, the, the rules, even if it's only to – in some way, then um, I think it doesn't hurt to let as many people know as possible that um, you know that there are some changes changes in the works. So, Ed, in that some of notice, we can send an email out. I mean, if I if I may add, uh, you know, some of the people that did respond to my initial inquiry, um, I forget when it was back in June or July, uh, regarding their doc. Uh, particularly upriver. Uh, as I said before, many of them did get back in touch with me. Um, mm -hmm. Did you want me to include those people who who did get back in touch with me because I still have their emails? That would be great. On on this letter. I think that would be great. Yeah, that'd be ideal. Yeah, I would think the more the more people know, the better. Right. I, I would. I mean, if I were so privileged to have a place on Harbor Road, I, I would want to be included in that uh, in, right. in that conversation. Absolutely, absolutely. I think that's that would be part of our obligation to let the public know. Is the public would certainly be those folks whose property adjoined the harbor. Right. So that would be great, Ed. Okay, I'll try to gather those emails together. Uh, what's okay. your proposed time frame for getting that that document out? Well, what what works for you? I think the uh, you know our meeting is October six, and as much notice as we can give folks, it's you know it's seventeen Correct. pages of of uh, to 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 take a look at um, and to think about. So. What what kind of what were is there is is the next the, by the end of the by the middle of next week? 
Um, yeah, I, sh- I should have time to be able to do that. If that if that's if that's possible, then if we could get it out by October one, you know, that gives them the weekend and a few days. Right. <clears throat> so in that one, that's for the special meeting, and right. that would be attaching the Word file. Right. Or PDF. I or a li- or even the link. I mean, we could if it attach the Word file. That's that's probably easier. But It'd probably um, easier than sending them someplace if we can, if we can. Yeah. In this yeah. case, we, we know who they yeah. are, right? So. so yeah. Well, well sometimes on my computer. Sometimes on this Chromebook, I have a hard time with with Word. Uh, you know. Conversion. PDF files. PDF file is fine. Okay, I can certainly save it as a PDF file. If you don't already have it as a PDF file, I think you might. But if you don't, I can send it to you. Okay. So this would just be the meeting is happening. It's going to be a virtual meeting, right, Kim? I, 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 you know, I just don't see how the town would let us do anything other than that. Right. I mean, I can, I'll chat with Betty. Right. Um, so you know, I know if it is, then we'd need to get comments in advance. So we'll know what the rules are before you well, send this out, Ed, and we'll yeah, tell you what yeah, we can tell people. Yeah. About. Okay. I mean, I'd love, I'd love it to be in person, but um, mm-hmm. that's not likely. I don't think so. I don't think so. But uh, let, let, let me check with Betty. I mean, I, uh, you know, I, I believe the Conservation Commission has done some some public hearings. I'm not sure what that has looked like. Let me okay. see what. Betty, this is Jeff Kim. Yes. I think Betty said that the Conservation Commission's public hearing involved the applicant, but the public could not participate. So oh. it, it was, it was. I mean, participate in person. I mean, it was, right. it was on the the, the closed circuit television or whatever, however that's presented. But the the applicant and the commission met together. But that was a hearing, and then pe- people could, uh, you know, the, the public viewed it. Or, or, or listened on the phone. They could make comments before or after, I assume. I, I, I don't know how they did that, but uh, but the applicant was there, so the applicant could could uh, answer questions from the from the from the Inland Wetlands Commission. Well, in this case, there is no applicant. Yeah, the, the, in this, really. In this case, the, it, it's not a hearing either. It's yeah. it's a meeting. So, so would the same rule apply that people who are interested and would call in and listen, they they can't they would not have a chance to make comments during the the, the actual call in meeting. They would have to provide them before or after. Yeah, assuming that's the case, it's super important for us to get the copy of the proposed rules out in advance so people have yeah. time to yeah. formulate yeah. their comments and get them ideally before the meeting. Well, I don't know how we could have the public. I, I mean, I'd, I'd yeah. to send out a notice and and let people comment during the meeting. I mean, I don't know how we would. You you, you wouldn't be able to get control to all it. of the people yeah. who might want to comment. Right. Yeah. How would you know? Well, right. let, let me let me talk to Betty. I. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, this is really troubling. It's really. Um, yeah. It's it's so difficult um, and so important that we get people involved. Well, and, and I, it, it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jeff. I didn't mean to interrupt. At, at, at some point, the, a, a public hearing would have would be held for for adoption of of the rules and procedures, and th- then I think we'd have the, the, you know, we really have to pay attention to how we handle the the the, the right of the public to speak at the at the hearing. Um, but we're not at that point yet. We're just now, we're still reviewing them. So the special meeting would be for the commission members to all be able to have a discussion and go through the rules and procedures item by item. Right. And the public would be, could listen and would either, would, could provide comments ahead of time. Uh, if that's the case, then they, they, those comments could be discussed during the meeting. Yep. Or, or or afterwards, I guess. Uh, but the hearing would be di- well. Anyway, I'm just just I'm just sort of thinking out loud. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think but, in terms of the te- technology, oh Kim, I'm sorry. I, I was yep, just saying ahead. about if we had WebEx or Zoom, and you had an opportunity for public comment, somebody could manage the 
the, the, the public comment piece, everyone would be on a mute and then would be opened up by they raised their hand. Um, I mean, I think right. it's a matter of technology. I think we could do it, but um, from that perspective. Um, but as, you, you, this isn't a hearing, right? Uh, well, our special meeting a, is not a hearing, correct? Correct. So, but at some point, we at some point we need to have a hearing, a and b that 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 means that the public has to be able to comment. Correct. Which which it's which it is given the current format of our meetings, um, you know, the governor's executive order says no, pu- no no immediate public comment. But, it's before or after comment that's allowed. Okay, but then I think this, the if we don't, if it's not a, if that's the case, then we just over communicate the fact that this is a public forum, an opportunity for people to get their comments out there. Right. I guess right. then we have done our job. Right. Um, but the, 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 this is Sorry. Jeff again. The other thing is that this is the this is the format that the town of Fairfield, as I understand it, has decided to use. So uh, other towns are having meetings via the the Zoom technology, which which is is set up according to town standards, and the and the meetings are managed by um, by uh, some some employee of the particular town or, right. or the or the secretary. But here here Fairfield is is not doing the Zoom meetings. Their their, their procedure they set up is so I don't know how we would do that ourselves or whether that would you know be be acceptable uh, to to the to the town for holding public meetings when this is the way they've decided to go apparently right right well let me uh, i mean that's that's that i that really is a, a something for the uh mm-hmm. not for this meeting so much but let me uh let me get i get in touch with betty um but ne- ne- about the the public hearing but for the for the special meeting I think that we want to be sure to get to get the news to as many people uh, who have an interest in or uh, interest uh, in the harbor that the rules and procedures will be considered by the commissioners at the October 6th meeting, and if they have comments um, beforehand, to get those comments to our email beforehand. Um, if they want to listen, this is how they listen. And certainly at the beginning of that meeting, we'll indicate how it is they can comment on what they've heard. So, um, Ed, if we, you could gather up um, those emails and as many, as many of them as you have in as many different categories as you have, then we can, get, we, we can do step one, which is to get the word out to as many folks as possible about the October Who's going to draft meeting. that communication? That, that yeah, and, and thank God for online mooring because I'm not sure how we would reach so many people so easily without it. Right. Who's, who's going to draft yeah. that communication with respect to the special meeting? Um, good question. Uh, I'm happy to, uh, to put together some thoughts. Um, Kim, do you have the PDF version of the rules update? I think you do. I think I do. I- if not, I can make one for okay. you out of the Word file. Okay. Is that is uh, is 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 anybody else want to give me a hand with drafting that uh, letter? I I can do that, Kim, if you wish, okay. or, or, or whatever, you, however you okay. want me to help. Thanks, Jeff. It's just it's just Seems a simple like announcement. The uh, town notice right. should happen simultaneously or in advance of sending that email. <laughs> What was that, Jack? Seems like the town official notice of the town clerk should be done in advance Before. of or simultaneously yeah, yeah. email going out. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, Betsy, the town clerk could be able to help um, in all right. the language right. uh, because, I mean, we're not the only commission, and they probably – I want to be make sure that we're following all the sound protocols right. appropriately. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah, they've been, she's been very helpful. Very helpful. Okay. Um, the only new business item, if there's nothing more on that, the only new business item that I would like to suggest that's really not new business, but I didn't put it in the agenda, was more discussion about a patrol vessel for the Harbor Master. Ed, you had let me know that 
the first couple that you are looking into is donated vessels don't sound like they're materializing. I, I feel like um, we need to have a continued serious effort to locate and obtain a vessel for the harbor master's use for patrolling. And I don't, I'd be ashamed if we go into the coming boating season next year and still not have a dedicated vessel for the harbor master. I don't know what others' thoughts are, but it seems like a more assertive outreach to locate a donated vessel or some other way of, achieve, of getting a vessel is important for the commission to focus on. Is there any right, way of advertising it? That the town is uh, looking for a uh, boat to patrol the harbor? I think we identified it would be tax deductible as a donation, right? Right. I believe it is. Yeah, yeah. used for public purpose. I mean, is that something? Is that is that is it worth a notice from you, Ed? You know, posted at your yacht yard, or I would um, think anything in usual boat yards where they might have boats sitting around. We're not talking about a very substantial yeah. vessel here. We're talking right, about a sixteen right. or eighteen foot whaler or something like that. I mean, anything would be helpful to get your word out. Um, yeah. I, I have, you know, I've casually mentioned it to people at Captain's Cove. Yep. Uh, to uh, Marine Sports Center over in uh, Bridgeport, Fairfield Line. Um, and, you know, others that, you know, that it comes up in the course of conversation. Um, uh, you know, I, I think you know I'm not the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the best person to be uh, – a fundraising chairperson. Um, I, I <laughs> That's always, hard to do, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, hard to it, do. It's particularly difficult for me to do that. Um, I mean, as opposed to, I mean, if it comes up in the course of conversation, yeah, I can elaborate on it, uh, you know, quite adequately, I feel. But, uh, you know, for me to come up and ask someone, hey, could you help me out, um, is difficult. And I, and I try to make it so that it's not, it's not my personal boat. Uh, right. You know, when I vacate this position, it will it will be transferred to you know someone else in the town. Um, so I mean, well, I, maybe I, was that, I know we talked about this a month or two ago. Did we? Yeah. Actually, ask the towns. I think we talked about the fire department, police department, to see if they happen to have something they're not using. We, the word the word went out, yes, and we, uh, we got no response. All right, that was that would have been the easiest approach. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, Sam, I, you have uh, any thoughts? Well, I'm wondering if if um, we draft up, uh, you know, one sheet of paper, uh, you know, uh, Harbor Management Commission, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't even know what it would say, but. You know these car, this cars for kids commercial that you hear, and you know all the the public radio stations donate your car. Um, I, I think if maybe if we put it in the as, as it suggested, it's coming to the Harbor Management Commission, not to uh, for the heart use by the Harbor Master, so that Ed doesn't have to say, you know, this is for me, um, and uh, just put up a couple of signs. I, I don't know. I. What's the name of that magazine that gets distributed for free that's for sailors, that's local, regional? Wind, oh, Windcheck. Windcheck. Yeah. You know, I wonder if they would just stick something in there in the back that just mentions that we're looking. If we draft something, I wonder if they would put it in there for us. I think the, you know, the timing is an opportunity right now. Yeah, I mean, it's before right, storage season, someone. so if somebody's not using their vessel, this might be a good time to get a tax write-off. Right. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Why not try? Yeah. <clears throat> Donate your vessel to the town of Fairfield. Kim, was it your sense that we need, when you talk to the town council, we need to get any approval on doing something like that, or what's your thought? Oh, I, you know what? It never occurred to me that we would have to ask that we would be advertising. I, can, I suppose I can shoot them a quick email. 
Yeah, I just want to make sure we don't run afoul yeah. of something we're yeah. soliciting a donation. All right, let me uh, let me try to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that seems like a first. And if there's anything he says we have to include, we should find out what that is. And I'm yeah. happy to take a cut at drafting something okay. for others to look at. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will. I'll. Uh, I'll reach out to him. Okay, and after that, I'll. I'll try and put something yeah. in writing to look at. Okay. Mike, actually, the thought just occurred to me. It might behoove us to reach out to other, uh, like, private yacht clubs up and down the coast. Um, you know, a lot of programs recycle their, uh, uh, you know, sailing chase boats, uh, ribs. Interesting. Yeah. Et cetera. And they, they might be coming to an end of a, whatever, three- or five-year cycle, and it's like time for us to replace I mean, not that they would, you know, they wouldn't wouldn't be searching for it, a tax write off per se, but right. Uh, again, it wouldn't hurt just to get the word out. Um, well, I would start with PYC. I think you'd have an opportunity there. The Commodore has an incredible network with all the other clubs um, in Long Island Sound. Great. Idea. Um, yeah. Good. Good point. It, good point, it, Sam. It's and you know, there's got to be an old rib from a. A, a sailing program at Larchmont or wherever, but, you know, I think the appeal coming out from the Yacht Club because, you know, the Yacht Club really carries their weight around here for this harbor. And <laughs> I could imagine there'd be some people that would be willing to step forward and, um, or to have, have an idea where you can get a good vote. Because, you know, we could go to first responders all day long and ask them, and um, I think that's great, but let's, uh, charity starts at home, right? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> okay. Appreciate right. that. I'm going to check yeah. with council. I'll write something up. Ed, you're going to talk to the Yacht Club, or, or Sam, are you going to talk to somebody at the Yacht Club? To, uh, I'll talk to Devin uh, okay. or Chris. And, cool. um, I mean, it's really, I think Devin is, 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 is our, uh, from a governance perspective, has responsibility for mm-hmm. the harbor from that perspective. Uh, I'll touch base with them this afternoon, and then uh, we'll talk to uh, the Commodore. Actually, I was on a call call this morning with the Commodore on something else. I should have could have thought about it, but I didn't. So, awesome. Any other business for today? This this is Jeff. Jack, uh, I was just thinking when you were talking about inputting the the inspection data into the online system. If it would be of, of any assistance, you know, we can always con- we can talk to the Harbor Commissions in Stanford and Norwalk to see how they use their system. Um, uh, bo- bo- both both towns employ the online system and, and have for for a while, um, uh, but but they don't they don't own the mooring tackle those towns. But uh, I, I know in Norwalk the the mooring contractors each contractor is responsible for putting information into into the system uh, right. but i mean if, if, if there's questions about how the the you know the online system could be operates or how, how other towns utilize it we, we can e- easily contact the, the the norwalk and stanford representatives right right or, and it, the it president can. of online mooring has offered to do a training as well if we need it so that they yeah, can I don't bring think all they would want to experience from every harbor to that training. Yeah, I don't think they would do a training session, but they 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 would they could at least say what what how how they utilize it for for different purposes. Um, Understood. It might yeah. might be helpful or it might not be, but uh, uh-huh. I remember I mentioned that to Norman before the online system was 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 uh, instituted. He might want to talk to Norwalk and Stanford, but anyway. Good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Think, hearing no other business, we can adjourn for today. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody stay well. Yes, stay indeed. well. Yes. Thank Jeff, you. you as well. Bye. All right, bye now. All right, thanks, Jack. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Yep. Bye. Yep. Bye. Bye-bye.